this was about user onboarding and activation. Now, push notifications, as we know, are a really good channel, right? So this particular marketer, they implemented segmented user campaigns, which means they created user segments uh, and they had notifications around that. The primary goal that this campaign had was to drive new users to consume the first content, which again fits in with the entire onboarding and activation definition of a standard ODD app, whether it's video or audio, right? Uh, they had implemented personalization as one of the features and the audience size was well above 500,000. The conversion event that they measured was video playback, which is again a very common conversion event to measure for this particular use case. And the CTRs and conversion rates that they observed were right in front of you. And apart from push notification, they also used email as another marketing channel. So Hastu, this was actually a campaign that we got from Southeast Asia. So would you like to have a dig at this? What are your thoughts on this campaign? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and it's great to see a campaign of that size, um, anything over 500,000, if you're able to run segmented and personalized campaigns, that's always a good thing. So let's start with some of the good elements, some things that um, you know, we noticed as positives with this campaign. First one, of course, being the fact that they're leveraging push notifications for onboarding and user activation, uh, which is great because that's essentially all you have before someone signs up. All you have is the ability to send them that push notification. So uh, heroing that and getting uh, users to start logging in, signing up, or just making that first meaningful interaction through push notifications, um, and of course, segmenting those users, I think that's a great great thing to see. Um, we also noticed that there was a bit of personalization being done with this. Uh, now, what we understand is the personalization that went into this was uh, something simple like first names once somebody signs up or logs in, uh, but also being able to pick up on the categories that they viewed and the categories that they showed interest in and personalize it. It's again, always a great thing to see. Um, it's just uh, personalizing content for these users. Um, I'm also glad to see emails being leveraged uh, as an additional channel. Reason for that is, I mean, it's just added real estate, right? And in the OTT space, there's, there's a lot of content that we talk about and where we're always constantly pushing content to the users. So, uh, Great to see that they've uh, been using emails here as well. Uh, apart from that, uh, I think I've noticed their click-through rate benchmark. Um, actually, their click-through rates are well within the benchmarks that we've been looking at. So I see that they're at a 0.5 to 1%, and we see a 0.67% as a good number to be on. So again, uh, great, great numbers there. And the same thing with their conversions. Uh, we see a 38.58% as a conversion benchmark. And I see, again, that they're well within that range. So I think those are all positives. Uh, the fact that they're personalizing, the fact that they're really heroing push notifications, and the fact that they're using emails post sign up and just making use of all that additional real estate that becomes available to you to recommend content. So that's the good. Now, what could they have done better? What could have been uh, achieved if they uh, tried a few different things over here? Just talk about Rich Media again. Send me a photograph of who I'm going to be watching or listening to. Um, iOS even lets you send videos in GIFs, which is amazing, right? Because you can send me that short little snippet that really gets me excited about the content that I, that I want to consume. And what that means is click-through rates of over 1.4x. Uh, that's the improvement and conversion of 1.8x. So worth a try, um, and it really gets people excited. So let's, let's definitely do that. Um, A-B tests, multivariate tests, always great ideas. Uh, test out what works. Do I respond to images in my notifications better than just plain text? Emojis, especially for Southeast Asia, run emojis. We've seen great performance, but the only way to really know if it works is if you run that A-B test or a multivariate test. So uh, great to get those tests in as well. Uh, great to try out different rich media. Great to try out different sounds and how people react to them. Uh, great to try out different languages as well, um, especially in the region. There's 
there's so many languages, but at the same time, people are also always uh, looking at English content and uh, consuming English content. So do I prefer my communication to be in the same language as the content that I consume or do I have a different preferred language? So again, multivariate tests really help you optimize for stuff like that. Uh, the next thing that we noticed uh, that the brand could have done better over here is just leveraging triggers. Um, we call them smart triggers, but it's essentially just being able to pick up on context. So as soon as I've installed the app, uh, there can be a trigger made to me within the next three hours asking me to sign up or log in because that's the action that is now telling me more about the user. Uh, telling me about their email address, telling me if they're an existing customer that, that has some context that I can use for personalization further. Um, post sign up, if they haven't completed consuming a, con a piece of content, trigger that communication again. And this is probably uh, the biggest point that I would want to highlight here in, in terms of the scope of improvement, and that is triggers, because your click-through rates, being able to trigger a message at the right time can go up by even 3x on average. So you see a, a, a significant improvement in click-through rates, just being able to send that message at the right time, really, and not, not have to wait an additional day for those segments to actually kick in. Um, and the last one is interstitials. I'm met with a quick interstitial asking me what I'm interested in, and that is enough information for you to really personalize content and personalize recommendations just a little bit more right so if you know i'm interested in tv shows because you showed me an interstitial or pop-up asking me what i'm interested in that just means that the notification that i send you is that much more personalized to yourself <laughs>